Hello everyone, I welcome you all in my Science Academy YouTube channel and in today's session we are going to see three dimensional structure of the protein and in this heading we are going to cover these three major uh, point. First is how proteins get folded. Protein usually get folded and then it is become functional. So what is the reason that protein get folded? And second, after this we are going to see the type of the three dimensional structure which is fibrous protein with different examples and its structure and after that we are going to see second type of protein which is come under globular protein category we will see also this with example three dimensional structure of the protein is formed by folding of the protein it is folded structure characteristics feature of this three dimensional structure is that it is a folded structure it is having weak interactions this weak interaction is also known as non-covalent bond which requires 8 to 12 kilojoule per mole for breakage protein become functional the functionality of the protein is attained at theory structure now next question is that how folding occurs so still we don't know how the folding occurs but there is a certain assumption that water plays a very important role how so there is a formation of one called salvation layer what is salvation layer salvation layer is a layer of water which is interacting with the exposed amino acid let us take one example Suppose this is the amino acid N terminus and C terminus, there are certain OH, H and CH3 and another one is also CCH3. So I have taken three, uh, four amino acids, one amino acid, this one, this one, this one and this one. These two are hydrophobic because we know that alanine and valine are hydrophobic amino acid. Suppose this is serine and this is glycine. Serine is hydrophilic. Hydrophilic. Now, since these are exposed, it will interact with the water. Water is interacting with forcefully with H molecule and OH, H, H and O, H of water molecule. This is called salvation which is unfavorable interaction. Water does not want to interact with these foreign molecules but it is interacting forcefully because it is present in the cytoplasm. Now, during water will make this molecule to go away from the water surface. In doing so, they will attain the three dimension structure. Water will force that this hydrophobic interaction, this hydrophobic molecule and this hydrophobic molecule can interact can themselves. They can interact with themselves. This OH and this H can interact among themselves, not with the water molecule. So in this case, this will attain a folded like structure where CH3, C, CH3, CH3 and another C terminal CH3 can interact. This interaction is a hydrophobic interaction. In the simple fashion, the OH present over here and H over here can interact. So water is no longer present here. They are interacting with themselves and water will break their interaction with this molecule. This process is called desolvation. So desolvation leads to folding of protein. So in folding of the protein, weak interactions plays an important role. Apart from that, there is another disulfide linkage. Covalent bond is playing very important role which I have not mentioned over here. Suppose here it is one cysteine is there, cysteine is having side chain SH and another cysteine is present over here. So this cysteine SH group and SH group can interact with themselves. So suppose this is in one SH, this is another SH. This SH can interact among themselves and form disulfide linkage which is called cysteine so two cysteine 
cysteine molecule can form one cysteine and cysteine molecule is become hydrophobic you have to remember hydrophobic because what hydrogen has released out but cysteine you must be remembering that it is a hydrophilic or polar or polar this is non polar so functional protein folded protein is of two type now protein is folded so it is two type one is simple folding it is called fibrous structure and another is a very complex folding it is called globular protein so three dimensional structure of the protein are that fibrous a structure of fibrous protein and globular protein let us talk about simple one fibrous protein are very simple in nature because they are mostly in the linear form they arrange themselves in a linear form and each linear form a structure is 3d structure so this 3d structure are interacting with themselves to form a complex thick structure this thick structure is are rich in these are rich in hydrophobic amino acid like valine alanine glycine so that they can strongly attach themselves and water molecule cannot go inside if water molecule is interacting they cannot pass so that's why it is safeguard it is safeguarding it is a heat it is water resistant and because of that these are present on it will provide support strength external surface so example of fibrous protein are alpha keratin which present on skin collagen or it is also present on the hair horn hoof horn hoof feather third example is silk fibroid let us take one example keratin keratin provide a strength it is a intermediate filament this forms when two alpha helical structure super twisted with each other super twisting and this super twisting provides a strength now this super twisting structure combine with another super twisting structure to form proto filament so four molecule of this super twisting structure will combine one proto filament four proto filament form one proto fiber and which is a part of hair second example collagen is basically three structure the starting is three they will super twist over upon each other so that it's called tropo collagen so a starting material is the super twisting of three individual structure that's why it is much more strength it will provide much more strength as compared to keratin so this is present in the bone and cartilage it's made up of three amino acid which is glycine x and y this is a signature amino acid sequence present in the collagen wherever you see glycine x and y you should understand it is talking about collagen now the glycine percentage is glycine is fixed over here at the first position that's why i have mentioned glycine but second position it can be any amino acid or third position it can be any amino acid it has been seen that glycine is present around 35% over here 21% is here is alanine and y is having proline which is around 11% glycine is fixed 
glycine cannot be changed from the first position in the case of collagen and if in any case glycine is replaced by any amino acid in the collagen there will be genetic disorder and one genetic disorder is known as osteogenesis imperfecta in case of babies where glycine is replaced by other amino acid so it has been seen that if in babies glycine is replaced by any other amino acid there is a genetic disorder which is called osteogenesis imperfecta and that baby the bone is not properly formed and early death has been observed in the case of those babies so that plays a very important role now moving to the third type which is beta we call zinc fibroin also it is rich in beta structure present in the spider web it is very soft this beta zinc fibroin is rich in beta conformation and this beta conformation there alanine and glycine very common it will form sheet like a structure very extended it is glycine alanine glycine like that so it is soft extended and flexible beta conformation is highly extendable form and it is quite soft example is spider web silk is also example globular protein best example is enzyme all enzyme and regulatory protein in globular protein the structure shape is very complex and that's why it is called globular or ball of wool that's why it is called globular example myoglobin myoglobin is a very simple enzyme or simple protein which is globular in nature its function is to bind and store oxygen this is very important function it will bind and store oxygen it is present in a muscles it is having iron in form of iron is present in the form of heme which is called protoporphyrin proto for firing ring also single cell unit so iron here present in two form either in 2 plus or fe3 plus iron you have to always remember that it binds with oxygen in reduced form iron always bind with the fe2 form and it will convert into fe3 oxidized form is sometimes it is called ferric and this is called ferrous 153 amino acid and it is having 16.7 kilo dalton very small protein it is made up of mostly alpha helical structure now next example in this category is going to be cytochrome c cytochrome c is having molecular weight of 12.4 and it is also it is made up of beta sub beta structure mostly it is made up of beta structure and its role is to role is to carry electron is present in electron transport chain third example here in this category is lysozyme lysozyme molecular weight is 14.6 kilo dalton and it is a and fourth ribonuclease ribonuclease actually which degrade degrade rna these are the four example you have to study about the global protein please do share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel which is science academy youtube channel and also please like and comment in the comment section thanks for watching